डॉक्टर सुनील फ्रॉम जे सी बोस टेक्निक कैंपस कॉन्यूनिवर्सिटी दिस साइड टूडे आई विल टेक अप द सेकेंड सेशन ऑन वर्किंग विद डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मैन्यूपुलेट हाउ टू सेलेक्ट द डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स सो हेयर यू हैव इन अर्लियर सेशंस अर्लियर लेक्चर्स यू हैव नोन यू हैव केम टू नो अबाउट वॉट इज डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल सो डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल आइज आई keep on telling i always say uh, since javascript don't understand don't uh, interpret html page to understand html javascript creates a document object model so every element is over there as a object so javascript makes html page active and dynamic means it make interactive through document object model that is dom javascript doesn't do much beside performing some calculation we are not uh, bother about the calculation and all that to make html page more interactive we have to or dynamic we need scripts like javascript to access the content of web page html document so javascript can access the html document only through document object model so this javascript communicate with the browser like google Mo uh, mozilla internet explorer only through properties methods events in the interface since document object model provide programming interface like we want to want to have a button to change the colors when it clicked or image slides when the mouse hover over it so this is interactive and dynamic behavior so manipulating the document object model so this is nothing it's just a process of interacting with the document object model application programming interface to change or modify the html document which can be displayed in the web browser so this is a important feature while creating a web application using html and javascript so html document can be changed to add or remove elements it can update elements existing elements arrange the existing elements etc so javascript basically uh, work only through dom manipulator so how to select elements in a document object model uh, we can change modify the content element in the dom we have to select the specific element there are various ways six ways we can select we can element from the document html document get element by id get element by tag name get element by class name we can have class element by name only query selector query selector all last two methods query selector and query selector all we have done in the previous first session of this today's sessions only so i will be covering first four so first one is to get element by id method so it will return only element whose id matches with the pass string syntax is get element id we have to pass the id for example we want to find the element with a specified id here h1 h2 there are two headings are there we have given we have assigned id p to the demo to the p that is paragraph script in script tag we have mentioned document get element by id demo inner html hello world output of this is document object this is due to the heading get element id this is again due to heading and then it will since the pass string matches with the id that is hello world will be the output the next method is get element by tag name this will display 
collection of all element with a specified tag name and we want to say for example we want to find the element with the tag name li so here there are two headings are there h1 and h2 p unsorted li unordered list un, uh, there is a first item in unordered list is coffee then another item is tea another item is milk then we want to display one message under paragraph heading inner html of the second li is here we want to find the second li element constant collection constant collection document get element by tag name because we are giving pass tag name is li here and we want to get document get element by id demo since we have given demo to the paragraph uh, id to the paragraph inner inner html collection one collection one collection i here then inner html and it will display coffee is the because we have to start from first li that is first li that is coffee then tea then milk then here the innermost the second second li element we have to find out of this list here we have t next property next method is get element by class name returns a collection of elements with a specified class name here we have given two headings h1 and h2 then we have one paragraph message over there change the text of first element with the class example we have given a div tag and class we have given example element 1 div tag example element 2 then script tag is there constant collection collection document get element by class name example now we are passing passing the by tag name here over here and by class name sorry class name over here class we have already been assigned as example now it will take collection 0 it will take first element over there hello world now look at this document there are first two heading are there then there is one messages is there here here first element that is example will be element 1 will be replaced by hello world since because we want to replace the zeroth position zeroth index that is first position and the next element will be displayed as it is that is element 2 now the another property is get element by name method now here uh, it will return collection of elements with specified name here returns a live node list here syntax is get element by name name let's say one example to get all element with the name f name now there are two headings are there h1 s2 p first name input name f name type text value michael p first name input name f name type text value do p tag name of the first element of name f name is p id we again we are giving demo to the demo id to the p script is closed now let's have a elements document dot get element by name f name because we want to find we have to pass the f name only document get element by id demo innermost element 0 we start from the 0 first index if we look at the output first name there will be uh, since there will be select we have to give it will display the value michael in the next one it will display the do and tag value tag value is the will be input since it is only for input operation so in this session we have learned about how to work with the different way of work with, uh, to work with different uh, document object model that is long thank you